Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hey everybody, right now I'm out here in Gibsonia, PA, right on Route 8, and I found a Max and Irma's. Naturally, when I'm hungry, I find the places that are abandoned. How awesome is that? Anyway, let's go check it out. There you go, Max and Irma's. Gone. Now, although I never ate at this location, I knew this location was here, I just never realized it was abandoned for so long. <laughs> Because I actually frequent this stretch of Route 8 a lot. Probably because, though, this is tucked up on top of a hill right next to the highway, so it's hard to see anything. But what grabbed my attention wasn't necessarily this Max and Irma's. There's this abandoned hotel right next to it. Now, as badly as I want to explore it, there are no trespassing signs up, so I'm not going to. Now, to my understanding, this closed in 2015. What's up, everybody? You see my reflection? My Charlie Batch jersey? <laughs> Not even going to bother checking the doors. I could already see it was dead bolted. So. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see anything in there or not. little bit. Lots of glare, though. Sorry. <laughs> My understanding, though, like I said, this closed in 2015. And it's been closed since. Not too bad looking in there. I like the little tree here. I could play limbo under it. <laughs> Man, those jagger bush, it's hurt. <laughs> Trying to get that shot for that window, man. For you guys. Not a bad looking place. Like, somebody could come in here and definitely repurpose this place without a shadow of a doubt. As for the hotel, on the other hand. It's definitely hurting. It's definitely evident of that. And again, you can see no trespassing signs on it all over. So I'm not even going to tempt going over there. Nothing. None of that. Just give you a little bird's eye view. See, everything's boarded up anyway. But give you a little bird's eye view from the chain. I'm not even going to go over the chain. I mean... Does they know trespassing, so I'm going to respect that. Not even going to step on the grass here and go up to the windows. As badly as I would like to, you know, I would love to. <laughs> I said right up to the chain, but that's as far as I'll go. Motor Lodge. I have no idea when this closed. I imagine it's been a while. So, I saw this coming up Route 8. I grabbed my attention right away. I'm like, wait a minute. There's a big hotel here. And on the other side of that sign, it's all wiped off. You can't see it. So, I'm like, hmm. I'm going to come up here and check that out. And then I saw the no trespassing signs and was kind of disheartened by that. But that's all right because we got this gem here. So, I'm okay with that. Now, naturally, if you're familiar with the area and if you know anything about this Max and Irma's, please tell me in the comments below. Um, I was looking at reviews and whatever info I could find online of this place, and there were mixed reviews. You'll have that with any place. You know, generally, they were really good, but you had a few that were bad. But 
you'll have that with any business, so you can't please everybody. Even with YouTube and the trolls that dislike all of my videos, you can't please everybody, but that's just the nature of the business, and you know what? It still gives me exposure. Now here is their garbage area. All nice and clean, generally. Still got power. Bread cart, there's a candy cane there. Um, it is the Christmas season, so um, I guess. Nope. Nope. Oh, there's a light on in there in the kitchen. This building has been winterized. Well, at least you can see inside the kitchen a little bit. Ovens. Cool. Nope. Parking lot's in great shape. This can definitely see another business come in here. Uh, check this out, guys. The enter sign's been knocked down over here. You see the exit and entrance signs. There's the exit one there. Hurting. That thing was completely uprooted. <laughs> wonder if it just fell over or if somebody tried to actually yank that out. Who knows? Or a truck might have hit it. You can see ruts in the ground here. I guess from like 18 wheelers hopping over the curb and going through the grass. But you don't really see any physical damage to the sign except for the bottom of the post. So. But there you have it. Taking a look at the back side of the building here, going to the other side. Definitely really nice here. Definitely be reused. Without a doubt. I imagine it will be. We'll take a peek inside the window here. See if we can see anything. Oh yeah, wow. It's so hard to see through the glass with the naked eye because it's so dark. And the reflection's so bad, but at least you can see it on camera. Yeah, it can definitely be repurposed, that's for sure. Hmm. I like this. Not an entrance. Trust us. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother. I I'm seriously not even going to bother. As much as I want to, I'm not going to. Sorry. So, that's that. I guess this would have been the Max and Irma sign here. They took the top part off and just left the uh, number board, you know, so the message board anyway. But yeah, and the other side's just as blank too, but I can't get over to that, so. But that's all right. You know what it looks like on one side and that's how it looks on the other. You know when your instinct tells you you shouldn't check a door, you probably shouldn't, you know. Something just told me better not check these doors plus it faces a busy intersection here you know and that's the last thing I need is to see have people see me doing that even though I want to explore it really bad and I possibly could get inside if a door is unlocked you know to give you an in-depth look I'm not going to do so you know so just going with my instinct on it because that door seemed like it might have been cracked but I wasn't willing to try so um you guys can lambaste me for that, but that's just how it is for this one. But anyway, I do hope you enjoyed the video regardless. And uh, on that note, I'm going to get on out of here. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And until next time, guys, uh, I'll talk to you later. Take care and stay awesome. Bye.